What's going on guys? I've got a 2005 Ford Taurus here and I'm gonna use this car to point out to you the location of the two fuses and the one relay for the starter. So we're gonna start under the dash here. Behind this cover, which you remove by pulling down like that, you'll find a 15 amp fuse located right there. That fuse is important as it gets energized when you turn the key to the start position. So when you turn the key to the start position, the ignition switch will send power to that fuse, which then goes on to um, the transmission range switch. You can remove this fuse with the needle nose plier. You can just pop it out like so. Check to see if it's intact. And you can also apply power to this fuse when it's installed and the car should turn over if everything else is working properly. Let's head under the hood and I'll show you the other fuse as well as the starter relay. And I'll also go over some more details about how, how everything is wired. So we're gonna remove this cover by pulling up on these two tabs, one on either side. Now this is gonna be your starter relay. Sometimes you can tap on the relay while someone is trying to start the car. Unfortunately, there are no other similar relays you can swap this with. So let's go ahead and pull this out. And there is a fuse, 40 amp fuse right here. This provides power to both the ignition switch and the starter relay, as well as the starter solenoid itself. So check that as well. Now I've got these pins color coded. You should see a constant power at this pin right here coming from that 40 amp fuse. And when the key is turned to the start position, the power goes from this fuse to the ignition switch, from the ignition switch to the 15 amp fuse that I pointed out to you inside. Then it goes to your transmission range sensor right here, which is a safety device that it will not let you start the car unless it is in park or neutral. And that power comes in. I'll show you the wires exactly. That power comes in on the, uh, the black pink wire right there. And it comes out on that tan red wire. So pins 10 and 12. You can actually connect those two pins together the pin 12 and the pin 10 and bypass this switch just as a troubleshooting step. So it goes through that and the power ultimately will come in on this pin. So that's how the starter relay is triggered. Power coming in from the ignition switch through here and there's a ground coming in from the powertrain control module there. So when this relay is energized by the ground coming in here and the power coming in here, it will take the power coming in at this pin and it will send it to this pin. This is the pin that actually goes directly to the starter. So you can actually apply power there yourself. Be sure to have the car in park. The power coming in on this pin actually travels on this white red wire down to the starter. So that power will go into the starter and activate the solenoid there. So yeah, giving you guys a few troubleshooting steps. I hope this info was helpful for you. Please let me know if you have any questions or more importantly, if you have any advice about troubleshooting the starter on your Ford Taurus. Thanks for watching.